They, you know, you hear these ads on TV, and people say, "Improve your credit score." And people have heard those ads on TV, okay? And you also wonder, how do they do that, right? How do they do that? Let me tell you how they do it. What they do is it's a concept called piggybacking. A concept called piggybacking. They will actually take people like yourselves who have great credit scores, and they'll contact you and say, could you let in a stranger be an authorized user of your credit card for just a flicker of a moment, okay? They can't make any charges on your credit card, but we're going we're to put them on your card as an authorized user, okay? By being an authorized user of somebody who's got good credit, it does what to their credit score? Boosts it immediately. It's called a concept called piggybacking. FICO 08 tries to identify that and eliminate that option so people can't boost their credit scores by using devious means. And so that's another key, that's another advantage of FICO 08. It will also look at piggybacking and so you get a better indication of what's going on inside people's credit scores. So how many people have ever heard of piggybacking before? How many people have ever heard of piggybacking before? So some of you have. Uh, have any of you had uh, negative experiences because of it, you think? It's hard to say, uh, but you know, it is out there. And FICO 08 is designed to do that. So that is another key for you in the, in the, the marketplace. But, my, yes? Uh, this is a great one. Look at disposable income. I think it's a great thing to look at, particularly when you're on those loans that are you're right on the fence, okay? Now, you know, if you've got a great credit score and, and great trade lines, not worried about it. But if you're looking at somebody who's got a 660, 670 credit score, you know, maybe a couple of blemishes, and you're saying, okay, where are they at? Should you look at the disposable income? Absolutely. It's right, you're right there on the fence. When you're, when you're talking about a loan that you're on the fence with, ask more information. Interview them. I, I'll give you a couple of questions you should probably even ask people when you're on that, when you're on that fence, okay? Let's say you're giving a, a car loan to someone. You're going to car loan to someone, and uh, you're on the fence. And here's a great question to ask. Don't write this down. Don't write this down. It's a great question to ask. You give this car loan to someone and you say, if we give you this car loan and you default on the loan, where do you plan to hide the car? <laughs> Do not give them the loan, okay? That is an indication. That is not a good risk, okay? That is not a good risk. Get that on video? <laughs> is this going to be on your website? Oh, God. <laughs> this, is, this, this day is doing what? Let's do it with me right now. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. This day is doing what? Going, yeah. Oh, I have a magic trick. <laughs>